That's music in from Tatum Lynn right here on Y98.7. MJ with you, 36 minutes past the 11 o'clock hour. Let's get into more entertainment news brought to you by KFC Nassau. And we get things started with a little bit of Jay-Z news. Looks like, a, wow, he's going to celebrate this. He's got a deal with Tidal. Uh, he sold it to Square. That's the company that Twitter boss Jack Dorsey is also a part of. $350 million. That is the figure that we're hearing. And you got to hand it to Jay-Z. He is good at making money. Speaking of, his wife Beyonce recently shared a rare family photo. It showcased how quickly all of their kids are growing up. So it's Beyonce and Jay-Z as well as Blue Ivy, who's almost as tall as her mom, as well as the twins, Rumi and Sir Carter. They're three years old. I love how uh, gorgeous their family is. So, uh, yeah, it looks like Beyonce is really proud as well. You would never think that someone would confuse Dwayne The Rock Johnson for a girl, right? But according to him, he says he remembers uh, in fifth grade when he was on a school bus, a student asking him if he was a boy or a girl. I'm going to assume he had long hair back then. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, crazy stuff. Meanwhile... I saw this coming months ago. I even kind of hinted about it. But now it looks like J-Lo and Ben Affleck are hanging out together again. Now, according to sources close to them, they're just friends. They've always been friends ever since that Benifer episode back in the day. You know, they dated for like two years. They were engaged, but then they split off. Well, now they're hanging out together again. And I can only assume that... Yeah, I think they've kind of rekindled their relationship. I know that J-Lo recently came out of her dealings with A-Rod. Who knows? Maybe she finds uh, comfort, <laughs> we'll say that, with Ben. Also in the news, we've got the official name for the Captain Marvel 2 movie. It's going to be called The Marvel, so good stuff there. And then the Billboard Music Awards, they're going to happen this month, May 23rd. And now we're learning that they will be hosted by Nick Jonas. And I love that for him. I think he's actually a pretty good host. He and his wife, Priyanka Chopra. So it uh, should be interesting there. And finally, today is officially Star Wars Day. That's right, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> But, of course, it's trending right now. People trying to decide who's their favorite Star Wars character. And if I had to decide, I would say I still love Yoda. I won't lie. I like Anakin a little bit, too. But, yeah, Yoda will always be number one. All right. That's a wrap on your entertainment news. Don't forget this hour has been brought to you by KFC Nassau. Check out one of their delicious fill-ups. They've got the mac and cheese bowl, which is ooey gooey cheese and chicken goodness, all in one bowl for only $5. There's one place you can get it. That's KFC Nassau.